transgender actor and influencer Dylan Mulvaney has uh, been the target of a barrage of uh, attacks from anti-trans individuals online after she did an ad with Bud Light uh, a couple of weeks ago. She's someone who has been here to the White House. She interviewed the president last year. He had a lot of warm words for her. Has anyone here at the White House reached out to her? since she became the target of these attacks? So I don't have any uh, calls to review at this time, and I don't have anything to say specifically about this report. But what I can say, when a transgender American uh, posts a, a, a video about a brand of beer they enjoy, uh, and, it, and it leads to bomb threats, uh, it's clear that that level of violence and vitriol against uh, transgender Americans has to stop. And the president has been very clear. I just laid this out. The administration uh, has, uh, is going to do everything that they can to protect LGBTQI plus people who are under attack. And that's what we've been seeing across the country, especially in state houses. And so we're going to fight alongside them to protect their rights. Uh, they should be allowed to be who they are, who they want to be. And they should be able to speak out uh, against, and we should be able to speak out, and others should be able to speak out against hate and discrimination. Uh, but look, that type of uh, uh, dangerous rhetoric that type of vitriolic uh, uh, language uh, and violence, that needs to stop. I also want to say a word about the decision yesterday made by the Florida Board of Education to expand the state's dystopian don't say gay law. As this measure takes effect, it will prohibit all students up to seniors in high school from learning about, our, learning about or discussing LGBTQI plus people in the classrooms. Teachers in Florida have already faced the devastating consequences of the existing law. Under threat of having their licenses revoked, gay teachers have been forced to take down pictures of their spouses from their desks and censor their classroom materials. Censoring our classes is not how public education is supposed to work in a free country. Conservative politicians love to complain about the so-called cancel culture all while threatening teachers with losing their jobs if they teach something that the MAGA extremists don't agree with. President Biden believes teachers and students should not be pawns in a political game or a political stunt. We will continue to fight for students across the country to receive a world-class education, including free from discrimination and also censorship. The last question is an IRS special agent wants to protection. Talk about an investigation of Hunter Biden's taxes. Uh, what is the White House's message to employees who wonder if there should be political considerations when things uh, affect the president's family? So look, I want to be very clear here. Uh, as you know, the president uh, respects the rule of law. Uh, and, and the, the independence of the Department of Justice. Uh, he believes that's what they should be. In this administration, we believe that it should be independent. Uh, so I'm not going to go beyond that. The Department of Justice will certainly deal with this issue. Again, he believes in the rule of law. He believes in the independence of the Justice Department. Thanks, Green. I know you, you just to follow up on that. I know you won't comment on the investigation, but is the president confident that his attorney general has upheld all the ethical obligations here when it comes to this investigation? Again, the president has always been clear during the campaign, during his presidency, that the Department of Justice should have independence. Uh, they should not be politicized, and they should be able to do their job uh, uh, independently, essentially. And so. I'll leave it to them. I'll leave it to the Department of Justice to make their decision to do to uh, to move forward uh, with this particular case. We're just not going to comment from here. I I know actually my uh, colleagues from the White House Counsel's Office actually uh, put out a, a statement on this and addressed this more uh, uh, more specifically. But again, I would refer to uh, the Department of Justice or anything else.